grace. All grace. And Deacon Tom's grace is the unmerited favor of God. So he's able to make merited favor come over me. Mm -hmm. But he's also able to make some stuff that I don't deserve start to come chasing after me. Oh God, hallelujah, hallelujah. You just and I have got to learn how to prophesy to us stuff. How to speak. Now, now I know, I know it sounds crazy, but it sounded crazy when Jesus told the man that was sick to pick up his bed at home. That sounded crazy. It sounded crazy when the prophet told the man, go dip seven times in the dirt is water, man, it's called Jordan. And, and, and if you follow this instruction, amen, something great, great that is going to come out of it. I declare this morning that if you learn how to prophesy to your stuff, the thief has been trying to kill, trying to destroy. You need to go home tonight on an assignment from heaven with an anointing that you didn't walk in here with and go back and say, I speak to everything that, that, that belongs to me because everything that belongs to me is under my anointing. I wish I had somebody in here. Go back to the screen. Please. May God have grace, somebody say. Abound towards you. You. You with that you may always have what? Oh. You may always have what? Oh. What? Oh. What? Oh. So if all is not operated in my life, if lack yeah. and insufficiency has taken a board in an area of my life where God's word says I shall have all sufficiency, then I've got to believe God's word. Circumstances. They believed the word of God above everything that they were experiencing. And even the doctor who had had his MD and, 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 and Lord have mercy told them they were sick. They said, Thank you, doctor, for the diagnosis. But Jesus is my doctor. I'm in a sick room. And they would say, He's the final authority over my life. I'm so glad this morning huh, that Jesus is my final authority. Because the word of God, God says it.